Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fallout 4 video. Some people have been requesting it, so we're back. And today we got a different kind of video. We usually don't do these types of content, however, today I feel like trying it out. So, today we are going to discuss 10 things you can do in Fallout 4 when you're bored or have nothing to do. Starting off with number 1, getting all of the power armors. There's a lot of power armor in the game. I don't know how many exactly, but there's interactive maps online if you want to go look and find where all of them are. And you can collect them, it's pretty cool. I have a decent amount of them, but nowhere near all of them. Uh, power armors can be used in many different ways, so if you're a fan of power armor, maybe go do this. Or maybe you just want to collect them all like I do. I don't know if I'll ever get to it, however, I've made a start, got a few, I think about five. Um, and yeah, moving on to number two. Getting a DLC. Now, if you're broke, this isn't really an option for you. However, if you do have a little bit of money, I don't think that many. Um, I don't think they're that expensive. Usually, they're around 20 bucks. Um, my favorite is definitely Nuka World. I've played through it. I actually beat it, and I'll link a card to that right here. So, if you want to go watch that after, feel free to go ahead. Um, but yeah, get a DLC. There's a couple decent ones. Some of them don't really do too much. However, some add a lot of new content. And if you actually do get Nuka World, um, try getting all the Nuka Colas. There's a little bonus thing you can do um, when you're bored. I have all of them already. I've had to make all of them. I had to find all the recipes and stuff. I even started a little Nuka Cola bar. So that was pretty cool. Um, you can go see that in my Fallout 4 playlist. That will be linked at the end of the video. So, if you like Fallout 4 and this is your first video of mine that you've seen, feel free to go watch it. Or maybe you've already seen them and you want to go rewatch them. You can feel free to do that too. Alright, moving on to number 3, we have Go Legendary Hunting. There's a lot of legendary guns in the game, and there's a lot of cool effects you can get. You can also get legendary armor, however I like the weapons the most. You can get things like never ending on your weapons. So say you get a double barrel shotgun with never ending. That's that's infinite shotgun bullets. As long as you have the ammo. It's there's a lot of cool things you can do and get. Shooting raid right over to number four. Um, try to reset and do a different type of playthrough. You can do a lot of different things in this game. There's a lot of perks. Maybe go through and play as a ghoul. You can upgrade so you don't have radiation or radiation heals you you don't take radiation from eating from swimming there's a lot of different cool perks you can do I'm thinking about doing a cannibal run soon with that perk so that might be cool stay tuned for that and let me know in the comments what perks do you usually use for me in most of my playthroughs I'm either doing a heavy melee or I'm doing a um a sniper I really like sniping in most games including Fallout so usually I have sneak, sniping, pickpocketing, all that stuff. And yeah, moving on to number five. For number five, you can't be surprised it's on this list. It's use some mods. There's so many in-game mods. You can get this on console or on uh, PC, however I play on console. But there's an in-game mod menu, so feel free to go download some mods. Get um, maybe better graphics. You can get there's so many mods. I'm not gonna name them because there's there's just too many of them. Cheat rooms a pretty popular one though. Um, there's another popular one, but I won't say it on on this video. I'm sure you guys can assume and guess what that is though. But go get some mods. They're free to get. Um, and yeah, and if you have a PC and you're available, do it. Maybe you make some mods. You can make some pretty cool things with Fallout. You could play through a Shrek with donkey as dog meat. There's a lot you can do pretty much, alright? Now, moving on to number six. For number six, go do some side quests. There's a lot of cool storylines you can do. They don't all help, uh, they're not all very helpful. Some of them will give you a cool legendary weapon or cool thing at the end, though. Uh, I don't really have a favorite side quest, but there's a lot of cool ones. Um, maybe go through, find the fridge with the kid in it, save the, save the kid. Um, there's a lot of side quests though. Like there's two. I don't even know how many there is. This is gonna take some time. I will warn you. If you do plan on doing this, you're you're in it for the long haul. But enjoy. Moving on to number seven. Now seven, you might have already done. Maybe you're close. Uh, it's definitely not easy to do. There's a lot to get. However, getting all of the places, discover everywhere, so you can fast travel anywhere you want. 
Now playing through the main story or the main game, you will get most of the places, but some places you just have to explore if you want to find. Uh, you can find cool collectibles, some more Fat Man mini nukes. There's a lot of cool stuff you can find, so go for it. And a little bonus thing for the um, doing this, you can find these little toy models that I have in my um, in my Nuka bar right now. Uh, you can get the iBot, the Protectron, Sentry Bot. There's there's a lot of cool little action figures, so feel free to look that up. You can find um, there's videos showing how to get all the models in Fallout 4, so that's pretty cool. Alright, moving on to number 8. For number 8, we are going to go through and get all of the bobbleheads. I also have not done this on this playthrough. I did in a personal one. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of cool bobbleheads. They all give you different perks. Um, some, some up your charisma permanently, some up other things. And you can get these all throughout the game. Some are in some really annoying and random places and you're going to need high level stuff. Others you can get right off the bat, like ones in the, um, in the museum of something at the start of the game where you go and find and meet Preston for the first time. There's one just sitting on the desk before you go get the power armor. Moving on quickly from the bobbleheads, getting all the comics. There's a lot of comic books, too many in fact. I am not going to get all of them. I'm going to say that now. I have a decent amount of them, maybe one rack full. But uh there there's a lot of comic books. They all give different things. Some will allow you to build new things. Some will upgrade your stats. There's there's a lot. So feel free to go looking for all those. There is videos online. They do take a good two to three hours to get all of them, though. Uh, if you're including watching the video, pausing, and going through and actually getting them. So just be warned if you want to do that. It's also a kind of long haul thing, but go for it if you want to. Finally, we have number 10 which is rerun the game there's a lot of different endings you can do there's there's just so much endings you can get I think there's around five people you can side with for factions and stuff um, not including the DLCs if you have the DLCs then you can side with three more which is the pack the disciples and the uh, operators I think uh, I hate the pack the most to be honest so I kick them out you know but there's a lot you can do. Uh, there's a lot of different endings you could do. If, if you're feeling adventurous, go go beat everyone. Don't side with anyone. See what happens, you know. Um, and if you want to rerun, maybe get a friend to rerun the game with you. Could be fun comparing progress. Or if you don't have any friends, just go watch my playlist at the end of this video. And you can compare your progress um, compared to what happened to me. See what happens, what's different. Maybe you'll get lucky, get a legendary off the bat. Maybe you won't get lucky and you won't find a single legendary. I don't know. It's a pretty randomized game, but it's 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 fun to rerun sometimes as long as you don't do it too much. If you do it too much, it, it gets boring kind of quickly. With that being said, I hope you all enjoyed. Here's a thing to my channel. If you're looking to subscribe, it is greatly appreciated. And here is a playlist showing all of my Fallout four videos so feel free to go watch that if you enjoy Fallout 4 or, or maybe rewatch it if you already rewatched uh, if you already watched it once and I will all see you I will see you all in the next video goodbye